Hello, my name is Mark, author of The Magic Notebook. The clip you're about to see is from a TikTok Live where I do a guided meditation for resentment clearing. Now, if you want to follow on TikTok, it's the same name as the YouTube channel here, Your Energy Heals. If you're new here, make sure to hit that follow button, ring that bell, and if you like the video, give it a thumbs up. Enjoy. So we'll start first by taking a deep breath. And the best way to take a deep breath is to blow out the air you already have in your lungs. So exhale. All the way out. Farther than you thought you could go. Now breathe in deep and slow. Slower. Deeper. And let it go. Now, close your eyes. It's time to use your beautiful imagination for something deeply positive. Do your best to stick with this till the end and allow your mind or whatever comes up to just be there and practice the art of allowing and see how it feels. You approach a theater with a large lit up sign that spells out resentment. Reach your hand out and take hold of the door handle and open the door and step inside. The theater is completely empty. Make your way to the front and take a seat. As you sit down, the lights dim and the room becomes pitch black. A spotlight appears on stage and the person that you feel resentment towards, the person that's wronged you, walks into that spotlight. And you say, I forgive you for not being the way that I wanted you to be. You say, I forgive you for not being exactly the way that I needed you to be. Now, See this person in front of you doing things that would be beneficial to them. See them living a happy, healthy life. And as they fade from view, see their smiling face one last time. And the spotlight fades out and the room returns to pitch black. Suddenly, a prison door appears in front of you. The prison door is opening and as you step through you are free you are free to live your life this is a new beginning for you 
and anything is possible now. Take a deep, slow breath. And let it go. Listen for the sound of the drum. When you hear it, allow it to bring you back. When you hear the third drum, open your eyes. Now this is an extra special congratulations if you made it through that. Usually we lose about half the room on the resentment clearing because most people are unwilling to see the person that wronged them in a positive way. Now there's a reason we do that, not because we're just good people or it's the right thing to do. We're doing it for us because your brain is literally wired to find and focus on what's wrong to protect you from repeating it. But now with science they've actually proven that what you focus on you actually draw to you so if you focus on a bad relationship or being abused as a child or some business deal not going your way or somebody hurting you or cheating on you or whatever it is if you focus on that you'll actually end up repeating it you ever notice somebody getting in the same bad relationship over and over or somebody getting the same bad job over and over there's a reason so instead Instead of rewiring your brain completely, which you can do through neuroplasticity, meaning it's possible to completely change your brain at any age, no matter what's happened to you, but that takes a long time. Instead, bloom where you're planted and actually work with the way your brain is by default. So if your brain focuses on, focuses on and holds on to the negativity, well, trick your brain, hack your brain by telling it that you forgive this person and you wish them well. And now it's a positive thought. You can feel good that you're letting go. You forgive them. You can forgive yourself. You see them and wish them well. Now what your brain does is associate that. Sometimes it takes repetition, but they associate that with now a positive memory, a positive thought, a positive to no longer hold on to because your brain holds on to negatives. So naturally, it will let it go. Your brain will say, well, there's no reason to think about this. It's a positive. And we look for things that don't work. And that's true. And I can prove it. If I asked you right now, what do you hate about your job? What do you hate about your relationship? What do you hate about your looks? I guarantee you, bam, bam, you could think about a dozen things. But now if I asked you, what do you like about yourself? What do you like about your job? What do you like? Hmm, let me think about it. So by default, we focus on the things we don't like and what doesn't work. It's just the way we're wired. But we can consciously rise above it and change that. Or we can skip a step and work with the way our brain is. You can use our frontal cortex as a thinking being and decide. So that's the reason we do it that way. It's not because we're just trying to pretend like it didn't hurt or to pretend like it's, you know, the right thing to do. It's because it's what works. And then your brain lets it go. And then your brain naturally focuses on the next thing. And then you repeat the process. And eventually you can rewire your brain to focus and find and hold on to the positive things and attract more of the positive things until that's all that's left. And this goes out to you, Alexandra, anybody who had, who had a bad experience. Let's say that, just for an example, that your childhood was 99% bad, real bad. But there was one glimmer of hope. 
There was one thing. There was an aunt, a friend, a neighbor, a teacher, somebody from your childhood. And it was a good positive experience. Maybe a birthday present, maybe something, anything. And when you focus all of your attention on that 1%, now that 1% becomes 100% because you're giving all of your attention to it. And where attention goes, energy flows. And eventually, your whole world changes. And it's not to say those bad things. It's not to try to act like those bad things didn't happen. But the fact that those bad things happen suddenly don't matter anymore. And to hold on to them to say, well, no, uh, these bad things happen to me and it's not fair. Like, it's not right to let them go. I need to remember to make sure, you know, that's just another layer of unhappiness. But we live in our own reality. So you do what's best for you. I'm telling you, this is what's worked for me. I'm a life coach. Um, I help people in sales as well. And in sales, you actually have to learn how to love yourself because you're selling yourself. So this has worked for me and countless, ca literally countless. I couldn't count how many people it's helped. So when you're open enough and you want to give it a try, stick around. Come here every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, except for next Monday. Because uh, I will, I do have something... Uh, that I won't be able to make it. But there's a reason for it all. And I'm here to guide you through. I'm going to be here. If I can't make it, I'll give you a heads up like I just did. But you can, rely, you can rely on me. You can count on somebody. In this world of chaos, in this world of flakiness, I'll be here. The first five months, I was here every single day for five months. Every day. Even when I was sick. Now, that wasn't sustainable, but I wanted to prove a point. And I, by the way, I have ADHD, OCD, and dyslexia. So, it's challenging. But if I can do it, you surely can do it too. And also, uh, I welcome you to become a member of the Your Energy Heals website. It has a form section. It kind of works like a little mini Facebook, but it's just for us. It's a small group. Um, you have to get a request, so just sign up, and I'll verify you're not a bot or um, a troll or... <laughs> or something. I'm doing that to protect the community. And then I'll grant you access. It's completely free. It will never cost you anything. And you can create form posts. You can comment on the form posts we create. I'm also starting a blog. Um, and if you want to, uh, if you become interested and want to be more of a, a member and you want to support the cause, uh, you can go check out the link on the website to the Patreon page. It's $10 a month. Get unlimited access to our private server through Discord. I go on there again three times a week. You can talk to me. I get to meet you. You can meet the other community members. It's a safe place to grow. Real people. Not the, not the bots. The bots aren't allowed. And, you know, not fake pictures about things that don't matter. We're talking about real things open, heart on her sleeve, with a deep desire to grow, heal our minds and our bodies, and support each other along the way, making friendships. Real friendships. You know, that's that's still a possibility. So if you feel like an outcast, like I can relate to, I did my whole life, I decided I couldn't find a group, so I'm going to create one. I'm going to create a, brew, a group, and if I can just belong to it, then it's all that matters. I'm not the leader of the group. I'm just facilitating it. I'm not the leader. We're equals, and I'd love to have you there. Um, so, if you have any questions, please reach out through the website, send me a message. Have a good night, a good morning, or a good evening. Whatever time it is, make sure you have a good one. Oh, the website? Every So, this is easy to remember. Everything is the name of the TikTok. So, it's called Your Energy Heals. So, Your Energy Heals TikTok your energy heals youtube your energy heals.com there you go and all the links are in the bio so if you click the little uh, little emblem right in, in the upper left corner and click the little link in my bio it will open up a link to everything i just talked about to the book to the website to the patreon page youtube everything thanks so much hope to see you uh on patreon or get your questions or see you next monday well not Monday. I won't be here um, Wednesday. Thanks so much. Look forward to seeing you then. Have a good one.
Bye for now.